Lisa Del Zampo, Sand to Sea Properties. You're looking for Rolling Hills, Palos Verdes Peninsula. Let's go take a look at the satellite images. I'm gonna show you a particular neighborhood in Rolling Hills, Palos Verdes Peninsula. When we zoom in and take a look, here we go on down close to this South Coast Botanic Garden. This side of the hill, and I call the peninsula the hill because as you go up this way, up Crenshaw Boulevard, up Hawthorne Boulevard, it's a relatively steep climb that is a hill that then trends on over toward the ocean on the other side. As you can imagine, this side of the peninsula is closer to Los Angeles for commuting and for getting to anything you need in the Los Angeles area. So let's come on, look over here at the South Coast Botanic Garden right there. Rolling Hills Road comes on down here. And these homes are just as you get onto the peninsula, very close to, to the city. Uh, but still removed from it. And they are typically large lots, as you can see here. We'll zoom in each of these as you look over here. For example, on this street, which is Empty Saddle Road. Those homes are on about three-fourths to an acre. Some of them are half acres. You can see they all look to be built by different builders which is pretty typical in this area, uh, individually built houses. If you look over here on Lariat Lane, a couple of these homes were built by the same builder back in the 1960s. And then as you came down this street, they were developed ones and twos. Um, if you are looking at Single Tree Lane, you've got some very nice large estate homes. Some of them have been rehabbed. Some of them are original if you're looking for a fixer-upper in this area. They're very highly coveted streets to live on and so if your budget doesn't allow you to buy something in the couple million dollar range you might be looking for something that's more original 1960s 1970s that you can fix up to um, include your upgrades but get you in at a lower price point. So let's look at the amenities around here. If we move this over a little bit, we see that there's the Empty Saddle Club, which is a horse riding arena and they have events there, uh, depending on when you can gather. Once we get past COVID, I'm sure they'll be doing that again. Look, let's take a look at some of these homes on, for example, Lariat Lane. Let's go take a look at the street view. This is a preschool, which funny story, when my sister and I were little, we're twins, our mom was going to have us go to this preschool and we did go for about two days, but then she was informed that for every child, a um, parent had to uh, show up for one out of three days, and since she had twins, she would have to do two out of three days, and since we got along and were perfectly happy playing together at our house, she thought it was okay to skip preschool, but over the years, the preschool has been just a wonderful neighbor and very kind and considerate of all these neighbors. We And if we'll go take a look here down Lariat Lane, over the years, these properties, several have been purchased from sort of a more original 1960s, 1970s ranch style and turned into some quite large and lovely 
his date poems. So if we go zoom up and take a look back up over, we've got pools and I believe there are tennis courts and there's a little bit of a soccer pitch where they play some games. This is not a homeowners association type of um, community, but let's keep talking a little bit about this neighborhood. Let's go look at Palomino Lane, for example. So you'd come in off of uh, Rolling Hills Road, come in off of there. You've got this kind of look and, look and feel of the neighborhood, individually built typically, not a whole bunch done by one builder. But again, the ranch style homes connected to Dapple Gray Elementary School. So the high school would be the Palos Verdes Peninsula High School. At this point, you might want to take a look at our Peninsula Map Tour or the worst things about living in Rancho Palos Verdes 